Hello again from Applicad. Today I wish to show you how we measure the pitch of a roof using oblique images. And uh, these are readily available from services such as pictometry and, and others. And uh, it's really just a matter of, um, of uh, getting the image onto your screen. And in a previous uh, YouTube video we looked at um, capturing the image. Uh, I don't wish to do that all over again. Um, so this time we'll just go straight to how we might have saved the image to our user folder. Um, so we'll bring our image in as an unscaled image. And I've got one down here which will do the trick. Um, where are you? Big list of jobs. Here we go. That one will do. And so we post our image on screen. And then um, and then we, we zoom into where we want to um, measure the pitch. So I want the pitch on this hip end. So um, we then use the tool, go back to our main menu for construct roof, and go to our uh, quick uh, quick quick roof technology button, and um, the measure pitch icon, that one there. And the pro software there prompts us with um, uh, an XYZ axis. So if we want to move the axis to the corner where we're going to measure, if you can't quite see what you're doing, just get yourself more precise. Locate that corner as accurately as you can. And then uh, once we've done that, um, we can then orient the axis. Uh, now it might be that um, you want the, the, the x-axis to be uh, this way and the y-axis to be this way and the z-axis up the screen. So uh, it, it just swaps them around. It depends on what you wish to measure. And uh, now we've got um, our axis uh, oriented correctly. Uh, we now wish to measure the pitch of, of this hip end. Now this has been described by uh, many in the um, in the uh, roofing industry is uh, the, the holy grail of aerial measurement. And uh, well, um, if it is, we've just found it. So we're going to um, measure the pitch uh, from, from this end. That's the, um, the Y and the Z axis, so the green and blue line. Uh, from that axis, we want to extend that line down to that corner about there. And we're going to measure to that hip end. So straight away, uh, the software's figured out that uh, um, it's 37 degrees on this side and near enough to 42 on that side. And you're able to just keep moving that, if you're not happy with it, uh, just keep moving that until you reckon you've got it just about spot on. And uh, I, don't know, I think I'd be happy with that. So um, if we're happy with that, we uh, record those um, uh, pitch measurements. And, and you might then uh, move the axis to a, um, uh, a new location. So you might move it over there to measure this end. Uh, it shouldn't be necessary to realign the axes, but if it is, uh, you can. And then this time we're measuring this hip end. And uh, we go to, this will be the XZ axis. So that's XZ, the red blue lines. Um, we're going to across to where that hip would project down to that, if there was an eave there. And then we get the apex of the hip. And, and there we have it. If you're not happy with the result, you just uh, keep cracking at it until uh, you get the result you want. Um, it's a bit of trial and error. Uh, you uh, you get as many differences as you can. This is getting closer to what we'd expect to see on this particular job. And um, and there we have a result. So that's the tool. Um, yes, the holy grail of aerial measurement, perhaps. Um, but uh, it's very simple to use. Uh, you record those numbers and then you use those um, to digitize the perimeter roof and create the model in 3D from the plan view. So uh, that's it for that. Uh, thanks for your time and we look forward to seeing you at our next YouTube video.